Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, uh, if you grew up with siblings or if you have children, then you are familiar with the declaration, that's not fair. You know, sometimes uh, we as Christians can act like bratty children with our attitudes as well, especially about grace. So Jesus told a parable in Matthew 20 that is about grace. It's uh, found in verses 1 through 16. I'm not going to read it all, but let me just summarize. So there was a worker who, went, or an owner who went out to hire workers for his vineyard. He went out first thing in the morning and hired people and said, come and work in my vineyard. I'll pay you a denarius. They agreed. They went to work. He went back out at nine in the morning and got more workers. He went out at noon and got more workers. He went out at three o'clock and got more workers. And, and at the end of the day, right, an hour before darkness, he went out and found more people and said, hey, why are you not working? And they said, no one's hired us. He said, go in my vineyard. I'll pay you what's right. So at the end of the day, the workers line up to get their wages from the, the ones who came on last to the ones first. And the owner gave the ones who worked an hour a denarius. And he gave the ones who worked three hours a denarius. And he gave the ones who worked six hours a denarius. He gave the ones who worked nine hours a denarius. And even the ones who worked 12 hours he gave a denarius, and they grumbled. They said, that's not fair. We deserve more than they do. And, uh, and here's what he said. In verse 13, he said, but he replied to them, friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for a denarius? Take what belongs to you and go. I choose to give to this last worker as I give to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or do you begrudge my generosity? Isn't that amazing? Now, uh, when I preach this sermon, there's a lot of people who are offended by this story because it's not fair. The ones who worked longer deserve more than the ones who worked just a little bit. But this isn't a story about how to run your business. This is a story about how God runs his kingdom and particularly how grace applies to us. And see, the, the point is... Uh, Jesus wants us to know grace isn't fair. It doesn't, it doesn't apply like wages for money. It, it, grace isn't fair. Grace applies to everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. No matter their condition, no matter their, their circumstances, everyone who asks Jesus to save them will be saved. And, and here's the thing, you don't want fair. Because fair means justice, and justice means we all go to hell because we've all deserved hell because the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God, the grace of God, is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So we don't want fair, we want grace. I, look, I deserve eternal damnation, but I get to go to heaven because Jesus died on the cross for my sins, was raised from the dead, and he has forgiven me all my sins. And so everyone, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Whether you call on the name of the Lord at eight years old like I did, or whether you call on the name of the Lord at 80 and then die two weeks later, like a gentleman I led to the Lord uh, years ago. It doesn't matter. And everyone who believes in Jesus is going to heaven. Everyone. And, and that's what grace looks like. Whether you serve God for a lifetime or for two weeks, it doesn't matter. Good church people are going to heaven. Druggies are going to heaven. Criminals are going to heaven. Abusers are going to heaven. Everyone that calls on Jesus is going to heaven. That's God's grace. And it is uncomfortable in its rawest form. You know, a lot of churches preach grace, teach grace, but when it comes right down to it, they much prefer living out religion and rules uh, and, and then kind of, you know, begrudging God's generosity. They, they give grace, but sometimes they don't want to. That's not how God is. And that's not what we do here at Calvary. Here at Calvary, uncomfortable grace is one of our core values. And we believe that, the, that followers of Jesus give the same limitless grace to others that they themselves have received. So we're going to rejoice at every child who gives their life to Jesus and serves him for a lifetime. But we're also going to rejoice when somebody receives Jesus in jail and then comes out and lives for him. We're going to rejoice when somebody late in their life receives Jesus and, and is able to serve him for a little bit. Or we're going to rejoice when somebody receives Jesus on their deathbed after an evil life and still gets to heaven. Because none of us deserve to go there. But those of us who are going, we can either begrudge people coming with us or we can invite everyone to go with us. And that is the heart of God. So hope to see you there. Uh, I'm going and I'm going to take as many people with me as I can. God bless.